So the presidential task force there putting out another guideline into the advancement of uh, phase two in the ease of lockdown protocol. Joining us right now uh, from our Buja studio is Dr. Abunaya Hime. He's the medical doctor, prime care, uh, medical director, prime care Abuja. Thank you for joining us at this time. I'd like to begin by asking, uh, because we're seeing other countries who are um, easing lockdown, relaxing lockdown because their numbers, COVID-19 numbers, are coming down, but we're seeing a, a lot of increased daily rise in cases in Nigeria and the PTF is coming with this ease of lockdown. What do you make of it? Yeah, good evening, Millicent. Um, a pleasure always to be here. Um, I, I think um, quite unlike what applies, what other countries have been doing, um, where you know, lockdown is, you know, the lockdown is eased once the numbers are coming down. Now, I think in our own case, we, we, the issue now has to do with, you know, stimulation of the economy. You know, they, we, we, are, we, are about, we, we are afraid, we are worried that the economy, the Nigerian economy is gradually sliding into recession. So the, the earlier we actually do, I don't know, do away with as much as possible, you know, uh, try to reduce the lockdown, I mean, the ease the lockdown, uh, I mean, and stimulate the economy and improve um, the, the, you know, the, the economic indices of the country. I think it's, I think that's actually what informed the reason for, you know, the, the PTF um, taking such steps. So I guess many people would be asking, is the government prioritizing the economy over public health and public safety? Uh, maybe we'll leave that for an economist to answer. But looking at some of the, the guidelines that they've put out, uh, there's also the restricted opening of places of worship. And uh, also there's the um, caveat uh, state protocol. So states have also started easing on that. Do you expect that some of this measures, these guidelines, these protocols would be adhered to uh, in a setting like that of, um, you know, a church or a mosque? Yeah, the, the protocols that have been given are not actually difficult to adhere to. I, I'm, I'm sure um, by the time, the, you know, because before the, the lockdown, this particular phase of the lockdown was implemented, um, uh, meetings were actually held between the, you know, the PTF, the, the presidential tax force, the state uh, officials, as well as the religious organizations, where, you know, they, uh, we actually had an understanding um, that most of these protocols have to be observed. And the fact is that being a very responsible organization, one expects that these religious organizations, be it their mosques or churches or shrines, as the case may be, should be able, I mean, the protocols are not actually um, that difficult to, I mean, abide by. We're talking about, um, you know, the temperature monitoring, we're talking about social distancing, we're talking about um, uh, hand sanitizing and all forms of preventive measures. So I'm sure the, 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 the religious organizations in this case being very very responsible organizations. We expect that um, they, they are actually going to make this, incorporate this thing into part of their, their, their modes of worship. And as much as possible, it's going to help us, at, if not bring down the, the numbers, but at least limit the, the rate of a spike. The PTF have also talked about the high burden local government areas, about 20 of them of the 774. In tackling community transmission, what are some of the things that um, perhaps the, the committee should be looking at doing in those local government areas? Yeah, I, um, you know, like if you are talking about community spread in those local government areas, um, one of the things uh, I think we should also be very much interested in is um, you know gatherings, mass gatherings. You know, you're talking about uh, you know you know cultural gatherings. We are talking about um, meetings. You know, all different cultural organizations and so on and so forth. Uh, of course, we are, don't forget religious um, 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 uh, gatherings. We're also talking about. I think that the committee should also, as much as possible, put. To uh, and, uh, you know, sensitize as well as see to the proper implementation of those guidelines at those levels. I mean, of course, while also in, you know, as much as possible improving sensitization of the, the, the indigents of such local governments. I'm sure by the time, by the time, um, most of these practices are put into place, as much as possible, going to help reduce as much as possible um, community spread in those um, local governments of, of concern.
If, if you compare what we've had, um, the previous lockdown is the measures we've come from a total lockdown in Lagos, Ogun and Abuja to where we are now at this point. Also seeing the uh, new guideline, which is the timing of the nationwide curfew uh, from 10 p.m. now to 4 a.m., which it says is to um, limit social interactions. Um, do you expect that we would have lower figures, cases of COVID-19, or more figures? Well, I think all the efforts, all the protocols they put out are well thought out. And um, I honestly, to be, to be on the safe side, I think there might not be, there, there may not be an increase in the figures. We may actually have a plateau as far as those figures are concerned. So that by the time we now review, probably in the next um, period, you know, in the next um, period of assessment um, by the PTF or the, what, the agency in charge, the NCDC and so on, I'm sure um, um, that, that will encourage them as much as possible to, you know, now to, do, you know, to continue with the practice that is being, um, you know, as much as possible being uh, um, adhered to by, by now. And a lot of people want to see the flattening of the curve. We appreciate your time, Medical Director, Prime Care Abuja, Dr. Gwendaya Ihemeh. Thank you for joining us on the program.